Welcome. I'm Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotive, and we help small businesses automate their processes. In this video, we're going to talk about Chatter. I'll explain what it is, uh, the major features that you get with it, and how you can interact and use Chatter in your own org. So first off, Chatter is a collaboration and communication tool that's built directly into Salesforce. You've probably seen it in Lightning in its own tab, or maybe seen it in Classic at the top of the screen. And so Chatter enables you to post messages. You can at mention colleagues, you can respond to posts, and you can have a conversation directly within Salesforce. You know, the, the type of back and forth that wouldn't fit necessarily into a field on a record. You can also follow records and you can get uh, a feed of the most important updates on those records as they're happening. Uh, it essentially creates a stream uh, for you to view any of these updates. You can then reference that feed instead of having to go to each individual record to see what's, what's new. So there's three ways to interact with chatter within the system. The first is on a record, the second is through groups, and the third is through a chatter tab essentially a centralized location for all of your Chatter posts. So let's start with using Chatter on a record, because I think this is the most valuable use case for the, for the tool and how I see it gets used the most. So here I'm on an opportunity in Salesforce, and on the right-hand side, we ha have the Chatter component uh, added to a tab. So from here, of course, I could post and I could, you know, at mention other people, say, you know, maybe take a look at this for me, and then they'll get a notification and they can respond. This is really useful if you want to collaborate on a specific record, like an opportunity, and you're considering a discount for that particular customer. It's more useful than having that conversation in email or in an external system because it's attached to the record. So a couple years later, if you're reflecting on this account and you are wondering why they got such a good deal the first time they signed up for your service or your product, you can come back to Chatter and you can see that conversation right here. It doesn't get lost in email or, or lost in, in other channels. In addition to that, when you set up feed tracking, you can choose what dates are going to automatically post updates to the feed. So here on an opportunity, the big important ones are already set up for you. If you change the close date or you change the amount of the opportunity, it's gonna make a post right here on its own. So for example, let me change the amount of this opportunity from $1,500 to 3,000. And you'll see on the right-hand side, we have this new post. Amount was changed from 1,500 to 3,000 and the name of the user that made that change. So if you're a sales manager or a customer service manager, you can then come to that chatter feed and you can comment on it. You can ask for a little more detail or context into why that change happened. Uh, and it's a faster way of staying up to date on processes or opportunities in the system um, outside of a meeting because you've got it here within Salesforce. Now, if you want to follow a record and get these sorts of updates as the, as the record changes or to see posts that you're not necessarily mentioned in on that record, there's a follow button at the top of the screen. Click on that and then you can see all those updates in your feed, which we're gonna take a look at in a couple minutes. The next way to interact with Chatter is through groups. There's actually a groups tab in the system which you can search for to bring up here, or if you go into the Chatter app, it'll show up automatically. And so a group is sort of like a channel within Slack. It's a, it's a space where you can add multiple users in the system and you have a place to have a conversation, to post about different things outside of a record. It doesn't have to be tied to an opportunity or a lead or a case. It's just within that group. You can also at mention groups directly. So most often a group is either gonna be a team, you know, like a sales team, service team, engineers, um, or it's gonna be based around a specific project or topic of interest. So you might have a group for just one specific client, and you can actually invite external people uh, to chatter groups to have that conversation. Now this functionality has mostly been replaced in companies by Slack or Teams or similar products. But if you're not using those other tools and you are using Salesforce, it's still an option. And so groups is kind of the next most valuable way of leveraging Chatter within the system. Okay, and then the third way to interact with Chatter is through the Chatter tab. I'll bring that up here. And this is really just your home base. 
for chatter posts. This is where you can see everything that you're either mentioned in or you're following or you've bookmarked. So at the very top, you could see what I follow, which is gonna be a global feed of all those different records that you follow. You can also see to me, so anytime that you've been at mentioned or you're in a conversation, you can see company highlights. So these are posts that are getting a lot of interactions across the organization. And then beneath that, you can have a list of your groups as well as a list of streams. And a stream is just a folder for the different records that you follow. So one stream might be big deals or VIP clients or problem clients. And then as updates you know, happen on those records, you can dial right into that stream and see just those records that are followed in that folder. And then the last thing about Chatter that makes it useful is it's accessible throughout the platform. So you can add Chatter to reports as an example, and you can have conversations and, and, and discussions related to that report or to that dashboard. You can also use Chatter in communities or experience cloud. And you can collaborate with users that way or set up you know, forums essentially through Chatter so that users can communicate with each other and they can help support each other. And then finally, it's also accessible through Flow, through the automation tools within Salesforce. So if you want to set up different automations to automatically follow certain records or to post automatically based off different conditions, you can design all of that directly within Salesforce using Flow. So there's still a lot of great use cases for Chatter. And if you found this valuable, you might be interested in our other video that's comparing Chatter to Slack. And we talk about when you'd want to use one over the other, or when you might want to use both at the same time. You can take a look at that video by clicking the link right up here. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Please hit like and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one.